In this movie, we're going to learn how to decide if each of these pairs of ratios are equal to each other. And in this example, example A, are these two ratios equal to each other? Well, you could see that 3 and 6 are related by a factor of 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 and 8, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Because these two factors are the same, they're both multiplied by 2, we know that these two ratios are equal to each other. Similarly, in example B, there's no vertical relationship between the 4 and the 5 that is easy to see. However, if we look horizontally, we could see that 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. And since these two numbers are related by the same factor, we know these two ratios are equal to each other. And in the last example, C, vertically, we don't see a nice easy relationship between the 6 and the 9. Horizontally, we don't see a nice easy relationship between the 6 and the 8. So we're going to look diagonally at the cross products. And we can see that 6 times 12 is 72, and 9 times 8 is 72. And since both cross products are equal, we know both ratios are equal. In fact, if we look back up here, 4 times 15 is 60, 5 times 12 is 60, 3 times 8 is 24, 6 times 4 is 24. So we can see that in each of these cases, all three pairs of ratios are equal. Now that we know about the three different ways to decide if two ratios are equal to each other, now let's look at these three examples to see if we can figure out the missing value for each of these proportions. Now up here, we see that the ratio 3 twelfths, or 3 to 12, is the same as 5 over something. And this missing value is uh, what we need to figure out. Remembering that one of the ways to decide if two ratios are equal is by looking vertically. And we can see a vertical relationship. We can see that 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And since 3 times 4 is equal to 12, we can say, well, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So x is equal to 20 in this example. For this proportion, we don't see a vertical relationship that's very easy to see. However, I see a horizontal relationship. I see that 5 times 2 is 10. So 4 times 2 is 8. So in this case, the missing value, x, is equal to 8. And lastly, down here, 4 and 6, I don't see a vertical relationship. 2 and 21, I, I, 6 and 21, I don't see a horizontal relationship. So the third method for determining if two ratios are equal is the cross products method. And it says these are equal, so we can use the cross products. 4 times 21 is 84, and that means 6 times this missing value has to also equal 84. So we come over here on scratch paper, so this says 6 times something is equal to 84. How do we figure out what that something is? We use division. So 84 divided by 6. 6 goes into 8 once, with 2 left over. 6 goes into 24 four times with nothing left over. So we found out that x is 14.